You are now entering the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. And well, God, that's loud. And welcome <laughs> to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 32. I'm I, on, uh, oh, what? Oh, oh. Go ahead. Who are you? You paused, so I wasn't I'm sure. Sorry. Who are I'm you? I'm Annalise. I'm Neil C. How are you there, Wonder Woman onesie? Wonder Woman onesie. Got the Wonder Woman onesie. I like how you look down to make sure you know, have right? it on. You're like, well, you know. Am I wearing it? What's today? What am I wearing? I don't know. Yeah. So um, today... You'll probably hear a lot more noise in the background. We're doing this in the morning. We usually do it, the podcast, in the afternoon slash evening. And the dogs are freaking freaking out. <laughs> well, also, you normally feed them right before, so they're, you know, all fat little, and happy and sleepy. Right. But right now, they're actually roughhousing right there. <laughs> yeah, they're right in the room trying to, they're play fighting. So <laughs> it will be very noisy for a little while until they tire each other out or... We stop because we have to take one of them to the vet. One of the two. <laughs> We're not sure. So sorry. Pause. Yeah. Sorry about the noise in the background, peeps, but that's the way it's going to be. Wow. <laughs> Whose <laughs> voice like that? is that? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's a, I forget that, um, that comedian he was on. See, I'm so bad at this. That yep. comedian that was on that show, he was on that 70s show for a while. And unfortunately he took his own life, but he was a very dag me I did not lose both my legs in Vietnam so I could serve you a hot dog and then oh, but sure you have your is. legs and he goes like I said I did not lose both my legs <laughs> uh, somebody's going to say that to this comedian and then they'll be mad at me that I forgot his name so I apologize now <laughs> okay <laughs> so we're going to start this off with a pre-apology <laughs> pre-apology for <laughs> lack of my ability to remember anybody's names or what shows or any of that stuff so how are you doing this lovely morning it's morning. Lady Loons. I do like your, <laughs> I do like the Wonder Woman onesie. Thank you. I like my Batman onesie too. Yeah. I like the Batman onesie better, but that one's cool. This morning, uh, it's very, I, I've never realized how much Wonder Woman and Captain America pretty much have the same. Colors and outfits. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'd like to see Captain America in Wonder Woman's outfit. I think that would be much better. Oh, which reminds me, did you see that video that somebody posted of the guys trying on the girls' sexy, quote-unquote, Halloween costumes. No, I saw that someone had posted it, but I didn't watch it. Oh, freaking hilarious. Hilarious, yeah. yeah. They had sexy nun, and the guy was like, what? wait, sexy nun? Yeah. It was pretty funny. I feel the same way, dude. So it was pretty It was pretty good. They were having a good time with it, so. Oh, my God. They're like, guys. where does this go? Where, where do you even put this? Uh, <laughs> How does this attach? It was, it was fun. <laughs> so, yes, I'm stuck on your onesie. Okay. You should get a Captain do, America do I need onesie. A, <laughs> <laughs> should they change? <laughs> should change? <laughs> no, no. Too so, distracting? No. Okay. So uh, we were going to start off a little bit with some thank yous real quick, just because right. uh, as some of you know, well, first of all, thank you to everybody who listened to our last episode, episode 31. The four-hour epic. W- that is seven. With Grant <laughs> from Seven Days a Geek, and before that, uh, the last podcaster standing. Mm-hmm. Um Yes, it was an epic four-hour episode. And yeah, the sound you hear in the background is not Chewbacca. That is seven. So just so you know. Um, it was an epic four-hour episode of which when we were recording it went by really quick. It didn't right. feel like four hours. And just thank you to everybody who actually tuned in and hung out for the whole four hours with us. We got a great response from it. Mm-hmm. Very humbled that people wanted to listen to <laughs> us talk for that long at once but we had a great time doing it and really want to thank grant yeah, too it was for a lot of fun um it was it didn't it, feel like four hours not and at all. i definitely um 
am very happy and feels really good that people listen to it. And it's awesome. Yeah. And it's, it's been kind of neat because, you know, we haven't even been podcasting a year yet. And I had never heard any of the last podcaster standing uh, podcasts. I found them on SoundCloud. I shouldn't say I found them. Uh, Ginger sent me the link, so that's how I found them. Right, it. <laughs> and and I'm and I'm also somewhat new to Seven Days a Geek, just right. because I'm kind of new to podcasting. And right. um, so it was really neat going into the conversation with Grant, not knowing a whole lot right. about him or his, you know, just a little bit from from the stuff we learned Seven Days a Geek. So it was a very there was no preconceived anything. It was just like here's this cool guy, you know, that right. we met on Twitter. And just had a great time. And, uh, very... and we have to uh, thank Ryan um, and Tom for the questions because... Uh, Tom Jackson Jr.? They... What? <laughs> <laughs> so um, they sent in questions because obviously since we hadn't heard the show, we didn't have a lot of questions. I mean, like, we would have done our normal questions like, what beer do you like? <laughs> or, and we really don't, like when we have people on, we, the questions right, really come really from the conversation. Them, yeah. Right. So, so, But it was fun because it kind of, it was like we got to see, you know, part of... Or talk to Grant about some of these questions that we had no clue. Right. Yeah, so it was fun. Because then we learned a right. lot, too. We learned a lot, yeah. So um, thank you. That was awesome for <laughs> we had a great time doing it. And we're, we're glad it got such a huge response. And uh, I really want to thank also um, Spark Radio. Uh, right. You can go to sparkradio.us. They played the episode twice in its entirety That's crazy. Uh, on Wednesday and so on much. Friday, and that was cool. And thank you very much to Radio Fubar, too, radiofubar.com. Um, <laughs> uh, they played as much of the episode as they could until our slot time slot was right. over, which which was really cool. And um, I, was, I was, yeah, I remember afterwards I emailed everybody that we're affiliated with and said, Hey, it's a super long episode. So if you don't want to play it on your station, right. I totally get to cool, but I wanted to warn you before yeah, you, you go to, po- you do right. all the work to post it. And you're like, it's four freaking hours. You <laughs> dumb nuts. What's going on? So, so dumb that was, there's, there's, yes. a there's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, that was good. Also, it was funny because we were talking to the episode about how, as soon as it was over, I was going to miss Grant. And as soon as it was over, we were, you know, making dinner and I was like, Oh, I wish Grant was here making dinner with us. So, it was, but it was. You it did was, miss Granny. I did. I missed him all week. And message then, him all week. And, and then it's that feeling like you feel like you had this really cool experience with someone and like you bonded. So then it's like, hey, buddy, what are you doing? And it's like, uh, I'm working. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Just wanted to check Hi. in, see how you doing. Hi. Hi. Hey, what time are you going Hi. to bed tonight? I thought maybe we could say goodnight. <laughs> Kiss me dreams. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was it was a lot of fun. So here we are. Just us. No, it's just us. Just us and pan- crazy kitty face, Lord really? of the Pantaloons. Uh, mm. G- uh, combat. Mm. S- Semper Fi. Mm. <laughs> uh, it is Count Chocula, Lord Blueberry. You don't even remember. <laughs> no, I, I know the last part. I was. I just want to make sure I get it right. Von, so, von, von Pussy Freaky Pants. Eyes. Von Freaky oh, okay. Eyes. Um, Lord... Uh, caper von pussy pants. No. Anyway, so we're here with the cat and apparently the dogs who will not be quiet. Lord Sissy Whiskers von Freaky Eyes. That's it. Lord C- <laughs> I got to get him a name tag. <laughs> Love it. So. Thanks so, again. So what do so, you got going on over there? Um. Oh, I want to say also I was yeah. listening to Green F and Phillip's like, I'm not listening to their four episode. That's ridiculous. I'm like, aw. <laughs> I, I feel you, Philip. I'm... I'm <laughs> I, I do feel you. You can do that in waves, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I haven't listened to it. <laughs> what? I, yeah, I haven't listened to I've it. I've listened to it. I lived it, I was going to watch the... Live in the dream. <laughs> wow. did, did I tell you about that? Um, I was uh, I, I was helping out uh, Ed's dad at the beauty store, and there was uh, this kid who uh, worked there, and it was when Fast and the Furious was coming out, and his... I think it's his older brother had how long ago was that oh it, when, it doesn't year, feel like it's like 10 11 years really it's, well it's they've been that's seven when they came out there have been seven fast and furious movies. Mm, that makes more sense yeah well i think six and seven's about to come out right, so right um so his um his br- older brother i think had a an acura or a toyota super it was one of those drift car i mean it was super freaking juiced up and the thing was insane and (laughs) it was and so i was asking him uh he was such a good his name's jackson uh such a good kid and 
I'm like, hey, man, uh, did you see Fast and the Furious? And without missing it, and he was a very, like, innocent, shy, really into school, you know, really into eating healthy, was just kind of, like, just a good kid. And uh, without missing a beat, he looked at me and said, seen it. I live it every weekend. But he wasn't saying it, but it was just came out so deadpan, like, I live it every weekend. I'm like, oh, like, well, sorry. So, so, no, listen to it, no. I lived it. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> So for- I always uh, listen back to the pods and I think we actually talked about this on a different podcast, but um, just because um, um, that's how we figure out how we have like a sound problem or, and I also <laughs> like try to remember what we said. <laughs> like, I'm like, Oh, what? Oh, that one part where that's funny. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I should probably listen to the podcast. And remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> right. I thought it was funny that we started the podcast um, with Grant and it starts off with, accidentally there was music playing and right. we were like whoa 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 and i was laughing and i'm like i don't know what it is it's my inability that whenever we have guests i forget how to record anything and then an hour into the podcast mm-hmm. there's this total audio mess up because well, i didn't because the outro started playing right because right. because I, I use a template to podcast right. usually we don't go that long but i usually remove it anyway and just totally forgot right so yeah no we ma- were so busy getting set up for the guest stuff they wanted to make sure that was working that we I, kind of forgot I just day to day. I just think it's hilarious. Poor graphic <laughs> novice. I made it so they couldn't hear you, and then with right. Grant, you know, oh, I just, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm recording. That's just funny. So, oh well, anyway. whatever. What can you do? Also, We're- and the um the YouTube video went up uh, late oh, this don't week even because get you had to do it twice, and then it's something like what sixteen it's gigs? Sixteen or gigs to ridiculous? upload to YouTube, like, oh, and God. it just oh, it took me forever to do. So I finally got up, and it's already wow. had a few. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's already had a few views, which I think has got to be it. Because the, the camera died right. as we were. So then the, the last three like, hours th- in. Yeah. Yeah. Last third of it is just a static picture. But right. it's uh, it's it a fun. different way for people to hear it, though, because like if you wanted to play it on your TV, you could play it through the YouTube app and have it in the speakers like surround sound. If you well, I think <laughs> about of, stuff like that, because then us. I can listen to a podcast that way and like make dinner in the other room and right. have it go through the big speakers. And right. So. That's the way I think of it. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's good. Well, I think, too, for people like at work, like if you're hanging out and you can't get to a, an audio player, you know, right. but you can get YouTube, then you can also kind of listen to it at work right. while you should be working. But, you know, sometimes you need some dark angels and pretty freaks to pick you <laughs> yeah, up. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Right in the middle of the day. It, totally. <laughs> <laughs> you most certainly That's do. That's too funny. Yeah. Um, what else Dogs I want? are going crazy. No, I'm really sorry about that. Like they're they are totally, totally roughhousing. The like yeah. they're totally wrestling right here in the hallway. Like I can every now and then I see like a dog pass by the door, and I abs- if we weren't recording, I would totally get up and go out there. What the hell? <laughs> go outside, damn kids! I'd be yelling at zero. Get off my to, lawn. <laughs> be yelling at zero to take it easy on seven. Yeah, so poor guy. Uh, we're in our new old studio. New old, yeah. So we moved from the spare room back into the office. Mm-hmm because we find it a little more comforting in here. And it was just kind of hard to not be... Well, we kept having going back and forth yeah. with equipment and stuff as well. So so the setup to do this has been kind of interesting. So if you are watching on YouTube, you'll recognize that we're back in, in the office. <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. But well, I kind of like it. Do you like it better in here? I kind of like it better. I do. I like the feel better in here. I like, um, it. I like, yeah, I like feeling it better in here too. What? Oh, you know. <laughs> Euphemism one of the podcast. <laughs> Or is that two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so hey, leave him alone. It's okay. Sorry. Um, focus, lady. Focus. Focus. Sorry. Got a podcast to do. I know. They're just. No, we'll give them craziness. their own podcast. I know. They need their own podcast. Just either. whacked zero in the head. <laughs> um, and we also want to. There's so many things to talk about today. So, um, history of bad ideas. Okay. They gave us some drink recipes recently, and uh, from recently. Blake. No, they no, gave them to recently. us a while ago. <laughs> Well, in my world, that's recent. In my world, that's recent. Um, And we haven't made them yet. No. And we are going to. We're very much looking forward to. We very much appreciate the um, first week in November. We're gonna. We're gonna make it. We'll buy this stuff. um, We will uh, make that. And it has to uh, ferment. Not ferment. What's the word? Marry. The drinks have to combine. I don't know. It's Someone help me out with that. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're not gonna, I'm not drinking not anything f- that festers. <laughs> <laughs> we're not festering our drinks. Uh, marinade? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but so blank. Blank. 
<laughs> That's his new name. Um, Blake uh, posted the recipes for us, and we haven't tried them yet. So sorry. And thank you. But um, we also were thinking if you guys want and if you guys are interested, maybe. I'm, do you mean anybody who's listening to the podcast? Or the guys I meant history of bad ideas. Okay, I was going to uh, say. Jason, Jeff, Blake. Um, if you guys want to come on um, the week that we try it, we could do like a taste testing and talk about it. Yeah, I thought it could be fun. We could yeah. do kind of like a little crossover thing. If they wanted to hang out for the whole pod, great. If not, right. just kind of they can have their version. We'll have ours, and we right. can kind of we sip can do on a, it and we talk. We can do a top fifteen. We can, you know, twenty twenty five, whatever. Can, yeah, we <laughs> a top five that turns into twelve. Uh, we can have blank on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's too funny. Oh, uh, so. But uh, I'm very much looking forward to trying the uh, from scratch limoncello recipe. Yes, that sounds delicious. I'm in. <laughs> so let's talk about Tony. And Tony from Salty Language? Yeah. Oh, you know they're at Beer Fest this weekend? I very much haven't been enjoying we the know Instagram they were a, pictures. We know they were at Beer Fest for a while. We don't know how long they survived. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So um, go, you want to set this up? Uh, Brian, Tony, and uh, Tony's wife, Jeannie. Um, what are we talking about? This. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm like, what? I, yeah, You're totally. like, yeah, they were at Beer Fest. Yeah, Why beer do we want to talk Let's about do that? this. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I can't even. I so, uh, Tony wanted to uh, leave us a voicemail. Uh, Tony messaged us uh, late. Was it Friday night? I want to say it was Friday, Friday night. night. The first day of Beer Fest. And uh, he's like, I need the voicemail number. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, God. So we gave it to him, and he left us a voicemail, and it's going to go into our voicemail episode, which um, Neil is going to do very soon. Um, so Yeah, I'll put that together. In fact, I think what we'll do, I'm kind of getting off topic, I think what we'll do is uh, next week, I'm going to start putting it together now, but next week we'll announce we're going to do the voicemail and then have people call that week so we can get some newer voicemails in right. there, too. And I think and we have just quite gonna, a few old ones. So yeah, we'll and, them all. I, and that's not going to be it's uh, or that's not going to be our weekly episode. We're going to release that as an extra My episode, bonus, yeah. uh, just because it'll be a lot of voicemails and thought it would be fun. So um, <laughs> yeah, maybe release that as a Thanksgiving right. bonus episode. So 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 call now. I mean, call yeah. and leave the voicemails call anytime. anytime. Yeah. Say whatever you want. Seven seven four three two seven three seven one three. That's seven seven four D A P F seven one three. Nice and. Uh, yeah, but anyway, what we're going to so go say today is that, uh, is it uh, Google Plus or how does it come to us? Uh, Google I, Talk? Google Voice. Google what? Go- Google. <laughs> it's Cougar. It's Cougar Voice. Cougar oh, Voice. It's a little com. early for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no one called that. That's probably very bad. <laughs> Nobody called that. Uh, um, Google but, Voice, I think. Right. It's so called. it uh, transcripts what they think the person said, and it's hilarious. So we're not yeah. going to play the voicemail today. No, but, but I got to read the transcript. Neil is going to read the transcript. So, so this is from Tony, and this is this is what the transcript says, word for and then word. and then we'll we'll try to make it make out what it is because I think it's it's kind of funny. Well, are we going to say that for the the real translation for the voicemail episode? Oh, okay. We can. I was just going to say why it says all families. Oh, okay. <laughs> So this is the voicemail. Dear all families, it is Tony from the sexiest pockets of the work call and leave you a voicemail about how incredibly <laughs> drunk I am. Disc early a child. Whatever, it's just weird. We spent all day if, if you're fest. 13. They do this. This is beers. My friend, he is over 2066. Hey, you said to go. And the O'Briens overhold his head to saying like a cool so bright house ago. Bye. This is a sight O'Brien. So if you're okay, so there, there's really no point for this voicemail. This is guy. Yeah, I really want to ask yourself. Love you guys. Todd book flight. <laughs> that makes no sense whatsoever. From that, I got drunk. Beer, yeah. Tony. Todd Book Flight. <laughs> Although I will say the Dear All Families, I figured out, is Dear Annalise. I, I, I didn't get that. Yeah. I was wondering. I thought he was like trying to like call us family or something. I'm like, oh, that's sweet. From but that's the, not what that meant. <laughs> from the sexiest pockets of the work call. Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> you said to go, and the O'Briens overhold his head saying, like a cool so bright house ago by. 
That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Tony. Yeah. We I'll, laughed. This oh. is like the third or fourth time we've been laughing our asses off about it. How cool would it be if we listened to the voicemail and that is exactly what he said? That would be hilarious. That would be awesome. We listened to it and he's like, dear all families, this is Tony from the sexiest pockets of the work call. <laughs> Like, oh, maybe he did have a few beers. Oh, my God. So that That'd was hilarious. That was too good. <laughs> too funny. Uh, wanted to mention, uh, too, that we are still doing the Star Wars thing. There's been a little hiccup in, <laughs> the, app, yeah. in the app uh, for the iPhone. So as soon as that gets ready to go, we'll do yep. it. Um, and, of course, if anybody, <clears throat> we've been getting great response for the quote-unquote Christmas cards. Right. So if anybody wants our Christmas quote-unquote Christmas card, just send us, Stop DM us. Stop quote, unquote. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not Christmas cards. I know. Oh, okay. Uh, send us, DM us, or email us your address, and we will ship those off to you with the beginning of November. Yay. But there was something else I was going to say about the Star Wars thing. We're sending Chris's stuff off. We just got a box. Finally got it all together. Sorry, Chris, again, was going to do it last week. but And I was actually hoping then the, the real Christmas cards would be mm -hmm. done because I wanted to send him one, but I'm going to send it later. Um but it was Chris funny. Chris going to get like six different packages from I us. Know. They're just going to keep I was, mailing it out. Chris, we should probably say where he's from. So Chris, people. Gravy Age. Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> well, sorry. We know. Everybody knows that. <laughs> right. <Cha. laughs> I didn't Chris need and Chris. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, uh, but I was going through the Star Wars stuff and realized we really don't have that much Star Wars stuff. So right. we will be doing other things once we run out of Star Wars right. stuff for people that, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well. What, what can you do? I now put something together for Raphael to from uh, We Are Not Here to Please You as well. We Are Not Here to Please You. <laughs> <laughs> Love all, those guys. That's all I have they to just, say. Oh, I just listened to their, um, sorry guys, talking about everybody else's podcast, but um, I just listened to their live show they did um, from the Aussie bar oh, in yeah. Finland. And How it was, was that? It's hilarious. It went pretty well. And they I interviewed heard it the, um, not so much interviewed, I guess, but it had the owner of the bar who's obviously Australian on there. And uh, they did some funny things like uh, the. I don't know, five most deadliest um, animals in Australia or something. Oh, wow. and, and the guy was like, yeah, I think uh, I've had contact with all of those but one. <laughs> and he's <Wow>. like, what? <laughs> anyway. Was one of them a kangaroo? No. A wallaby? Nope. Duck-billed platypus? Nope. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently uh, spiders and snakes are Oh, abundant. spiders and snakes. <laughs> Pish oh, posh. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> You want to do our? Uh, you want to do that shopping list? I don't know. Uh, was going to talk about two francs. I know we <laughs> talked about it last time, but okay. I'm very excited about this costumes. Yeah, our two francs. Uh, your hot dude, hot dude. Your right. hot dude costume. What's up? I'm your gonna hot, wear a hot. That would be a hilarious costume. I could dress dude. up as a hot dude. <laughs> I'm a hot dude. Uh, makes the hot dog You're in a date. bun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but people have been seeing your hot dog costume picture, mm -hmm. and it's getting a lot of buzz. <laughs> People are liking this you as a weenie in a bun. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to next Friday night's Halloween party where you will be walking around as a hot dog. I also like that Grant so far is really the only one that's picked up that it's a, a costume for a little boy. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't know. It seemed to fit you perfectly. So I don't know what that says about uh -huh. you or me or our relationship. <laughs> I don't want to get into that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so it's a big hit. So we're gonna, I, I'm thinking that... Uh, don't worry, there'll be lots of pictures. <laughs> yeah, as we prep for the party and you get dressed, which is kind of nice because now for Halloween, all you really have to do is slip on your weenie and you're ready to go. <laughs> You don't have like, you know, people have like, if you're a zombie or something. Oh, it doesn't involve a lot of makeup, yeah. a lot of prep work. No. Yeah. That's too funny. I think it might be washable just in case something bad happens. <laughs> well, what do you plan to do in there? What? It's Halloween. <laughs> yeah. okay. you, you might want to tell me <laughs> what your Halloweens are like. Because <laughs> you're this my day. Crazy. You'll oh. see it. Most, be there. most Halloweens or Halloween weekends, I was usually for the last what four or five years been playing a a rock show, as a you like to call show. it. I posted a picture of uh, us in an old rock show yeah. costume. It's funny. That <clears throat> picture makes me look ginormous. It does. I don't know why either. I think oh, just the way weird. it fits you or something. Uh, it's bizarre. And the white makeup, I think, isn't helping anybody out. But. No, it didn't help me. I, I'm like <laughs> Pudgy McPudgerson. Me and freaking crazy ass McGoogle pants over there. <laughs> um, Lord Sissy Whiskers, Von Freaky Eyes. Yes. <laughs> Google Puss McPatty Grant, Pants. Grant, say that five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working on my tongue twisters, and I realize I'm terrible. 
I'm terrible at them. That's why when Grant brought it up, I'm like, I'm not even going to try it, dude. I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. Because I'm not good at them. I can't do them. So so there's going to be a really good clip on the YouTube video of me totally scratching myself, which is awesome. <laughs> well, hopefully it's just kind of going from the chest up, right? I don't. Who knows? I think I've got it just <laughs> under the table. So who knows? Oh, good. It's a true well, hot dog ham. When you got to scratch, you got to scratch. When you got an itch, you got to scratch. Right. It works every time. <laughs> Get it done. Whatever the Billy D. Williams things was. Um, works have every time. No idea what Zero's barking at because the windows are closed. Yeah. I don't know. Darn dog. Told you. Poor DSP. No. Poor DSP. It's fine. Um, I forget what I was talking about, so take that. Uh, we were talking about the hot dog costumes in Halloween. Oh, yeah. So when we went shopping at Target, mm -hmm. as we, this was a week ago, but when we do, we do kind of have a pick up really different eclectic stuff when we Well, it's Target's check out. fault for selling food and hot dog costumes in the same place. So I my, blame them. And, and having a Starbucks <laughs> in there, so... <laughs> And so we went to Target last week at 8 o'clock in the morning, as we do on Saturday, because we are crazy. We well, partied. I kind of figure that if you're going to go to Target, 8 o'clock in the morning is a really good time to go, because I do not want to go at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday right. to any store pretty much ever. Because we party so hard <laughs> Friday night that we have to be up and out of the house by 8. Yeah. So obviously the hot dog, your, uh, your weenie sack was a... <sighs> Impulse buy, however, a, a great because we weren't planning. No, nope, because you were going to be oh, what we talked about, but you were going to be a pirate, uh -huh, a pirate, and um, so and we're that costume is pretty cool too. So we'll wear that next year, right? So we're going to save the pirate costume for next year. <laughs> I've never seen anybody take so much caution in drinking coffee. I'm trying really hard to not hit the microphone. That was great. I'm you're sitting like, so you're totally close to the microphone like, that I can't actually comfortably take a drink of my coffee without. Hurting something. You can lean back. That was great. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was awesome. Doing uh, my best over here. No, it was good. So here, let's let's just yak about a Target shopping list, shall we? All right. The dog is licking my amplifier. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that dog? Jesus. Okay, so of course we got a six pack of Michelob Ultra cider. Yeah, right? it is cider, right? <clears throat> yeah, light cider. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, and uh, cough. cough. So with that, what always goes really good are things to hang your pictures with. So we got some picture hanger hooks. <laughs> uh, we got a soap pump. That's all it is. Soap pump. <laughs> so lucky soap. Good for you. We got some pet de carpet deodorizer. Because mm -hmm. we have uh, dogs. And, and you know. <laughs> now that the uh, winter, the winter. The winter Since is the rain will be us. starting and coming in that darn dog door. So kind of deodorize their landing yeah. area. Um, what was that? The, I got a little. I was dancing. I gotta, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Coming at you. You guys have to check the YouTube video for that. I got a little. How, uh, how you doing? With that. <laughs> uh, is, no, I always thought a how you you got a little how you doing some other Easy. time, but that wasn't mm -hmm. that wasn't mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. No, what, uh, does nobody know we how do do you do? Nobody each knows other? that we do that. Um, we we got uh, two sets of candy cane path lights for Christmas <laughs> because you know you, that's what you need before Halloween. Yes, well um, they're on sale. <laughs> the hot dog costume mm -hmm. which uh, was on sale that's right <laughs> that was <laughs> a nice uh, budget buy <laughs> we got one of those read aroma diffusers and shipping tape read aroma oh right yeah, that, that is that what that's called <laughs> that's what it's called according to that so and shipping tape oh zero says hi yep um and we also got um some wet dog <laughs> it just says wet dog food yeah, we've got cans of dog yeah, food. Yeah, but <laughs> not can. Okay, what else, do you want to be on the podcast, buddy? You got anything you want to say? Or are you just going to stand there? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me know He's if you got something <clears throat> you want to say. Right. All right. Good boy. Good um, and then something. He's just going to talk when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Every time you start talking. Um, and then we got something else that I can't make out what it is. <laughs> But we got two. Of I them. think pretty much uh, apple cider and hot dog costume sums up our entire shopping list. Really, I'm probably going to sum up tape. your Friday. And some got tape. tape. Got to keep that hot dog <laughs> intact. <you> know, <laughs> well, together. <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> uh, that's too good. Gross. You got anything else exciting? I do. Um, I'm not going to show. I'll, I'll post a picture of it, and I can't say uh, what it was for yet. I can say what it was for later. But this <laughs> week. Um, at my job, I was working in this one room, and sometimes they use this room as, like, to do some extra recording for a Foley. Right. 
Um, is it like a hot dog steamer? It's not a hot dog oh. steamer. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so I'm working in this room, and uh, they come in, and they say, hey, uh, we kind of have this an emergency need. We were hoping that we could use this room. I know you're working in here or whatever. And, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I kind of got the... Um, the visit from my boss, like, yeah, you're going to have to clear out so they can use this room. Sorry. You know, it, it's the only room that's available. <laughs> and I'm like, um, okay, sure. You know, whatever, clear out my stuff so they can use the room. Um, and so they have the intern come in and the intern standing there and I hadn't met the intern before he comes in. He's like, Oh, Hey. And I'm like, Hey, I'm like, you are, he's like, Oh, I'm the new intern. I'm like, okay, cool. So, and I look at his hands and he has like two tarps in his hands. I'm like, okay, um, what are you going to be doing in here? And he's like, um, I'm not totally sure, but I think we're going to um, have some meat and probably like some fruit, you know, like some watermelons and stuff. And I think that we're going to hit them and smash them. Like a Gallagher show? Basically. And I'm like, oh. So he, was go- he needed tarps to beat his meat? You heard me. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> um, so I'm just staying there looking at him, trying totally to like not make exactly beat the meat jokes because that's, you know, not totally appropriate for work. <laughs> well, I don't know. They're beating meat at work. So. I mean, I would make that joke to someone else, but not the new intern. But um, so I stand there for a minute. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so we're just going to lay the tarp. He says, yeah, so I guess we're going to lay the tarps out and put a table. I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm getting ready to leave and I kind of turn around and I say, so... Um, just out of curiosity, how far do you think like meat and fruit flies when you hit it? And he's and he stops and he looks at me. He's like, "Oh, I don't know." And he kind of looks around like this room is not big enough for what we're gonna do in it. <laughs> and then I said, "Um, since the walls are fabric, you know, for soundproofing, maybe you should tarp the walls." And he's like, "Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Right." And like he has this look on his like horrified look on his face, like this isn't gonna go well for me. <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm gonna go now." Possible deniability. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> but, See, but there were so many opportunities. You say, I don't want to be here while you beat your meat. <laughs> After, you know, if you beat well, your meat, Well, if we can't... worked together, I would say that. Yeah. But I, again, I can't say that to the new intern. But I did go back to my desk and where Jason and Jim were and make some more jokes like that. I would imagine. But, you know, I just said, so he's going to tarp off that room. I'm going to leave. I don't know what's going to go on in there. That's too funny. <laughs> but it's pretty funny. And uh, like I said, I'll. Uh, did after... you see them beat their meat? I did not. Oh. I actually was going to try to see if I could catch a glimpse of whatever they were doing in of there. The meat beat. But, uh, right. But they ended up running really late and they didn't get to it. And they actually did it at like seven o'clock in the morning when I was at the gym. So I missed the whole thing. Bummer. I did not get to see anyone beat the meat or the fruit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, the humanity. Uh, I did take a picture of uh, the tarped off room, which looks kind of funny because it totally looks like a murder scene. Like, I'm going to kill somebody in here and then I'm just going to take these tarps down and wrap it up and go. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, so it's pretty funny, but I'll, I'll uh, post a picture of it. That's I can't, I couldn't, ima- <laughs> I can't imagine like, Oh yeah, I'm just, I need to tape this room off and uh, I'm going to just destroy fruits and, and meats and meats. Yeah. <laughs> I know, which is kind of my point. I was looking, I'm going, okay. Um, I don't think that tarp's big enough for what you have planned. <laughs> I mean, not that I've done this before, right. but I'm assuming. But in, yeah, <laughs> in our assumptions of meat beating. Right. I'm, I'm I've not, seen meat I'm get not so beat. good at the physics, but I'm <laughs> guessing you don't have enough tarps for what's going to happen in here. <laughs> um, so anyway. I And then and you think in a while I'd be able to say what the meat was beat for? Yeah, I think I will. Cool. Uh, in a few more weeks, I'll be able to tell. So we, we touched on this a little bit last week, but it is the one year of our gem shopping network <laughs> extravaganza. You mean since we started watching gem shopping? Yes. yes. I and, still go to sleep at night with that on. Yeah. And I think this is the season maybe we should pick up. An item. Yeah. Oh, we might actually buy something from yeah, maybe the a, gem shopping. Maybe a tanzanite. Yeah, you do like the tanzanite. Maybe just a, just a <laughs> just one tiny stone. When they do like the, you know, it's under a hundred dollars. Right, it's, just <laughs> it's gonna... like we have a speck of dust. I'm like, we'll take that, <laughs> but we have to register so we can like be like, hey, what's Everybody up? Call in, yeah, yeah, that's, that's too pretty funny. funny. So one year, how does it feel after a year of gem shopping? I feel like we're friends. I feel like I know them. And it's weird now because now they're getting back into the holiday, and like, you know, it's like, oh, now it's time to buy for Christmas, and I, I have like this warming sensation i'm like oh i remember when they did that last year so nice 
old friends come in to visit. Uh, it's <laughs> fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> it's too funny. So uh, this this week, our favorite five is a little bit different than the normal favorite okay. five because we decided to do a little Halloweeny theme since you're going to be, oh, you're actually going to be a Halloweeny. What? Oh, oh my gosh. This is awesome. A little weenie. Um, before we get into that, I want to uh, mention uh, on this past Mother's episode cookies. of uh, the newest episode of Dropping Loads, they did um, some scary stories and things like that. And Dropping they... Loads. <laughs> Those guys are funny. Um, they did a, they read a story or, well, told a story that I had sent to them. And um, we had touched on it kind of before, but we didn't really talk about it. And maybe we'll talk about it at some point on the podcast um, when we have uh, my brother Michael on. But we uh, grew up in a haunted house. We both believe that it was haunted, and we didn't really ever talk about it while we lived at home. So I think that that's something we should like do. We should get together and tell our stories. But um, anyway, so I told a little story, and they um, said so on their podcast. So I'm no, so that won't be in our favorite five today. Just so you know, I left that out. But um, anyway, so if you guys want to hear that. <laughs> pretty <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> oh, and then I wrote it out. I think I wrote it out pretty well, and maybe we'll post it on our blog. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Dropping loads. <laughs> check it out. So, check, check, check. so yeah. So we're doing a kind of a Halloweeny themed mm-hmm. uh, five this week. So it's it's gonna be a, it's kind of not just a list. Mm-hmm. We got to tell stories, but it's our what the hell is it? Our fa- favorite five scary moments. Scary moments, either that we were scared or that we scared somebody else. Right. Um. So we're going to get it started a little earlier because I have a feeling like as the, the right, stories go on. Right, because each one is a story, yeah. not a, just a thing. But, um, and also, like, I didn't pick, like, anything super heart-wrenching. Like, I got in a really bad car accident once. I don't think we need to talk about, like, yeah, stuff like that. this isn't like, you know, I found, like, I have this little bump on my back. And when I found it, everybody was worried and said you had to go to the doctor. So I was scared to find out what it was right. and it ended up so, being right. nothing. It's not heart wrenching moments. Right. So it's, it's not like I was afraid I might have cancer on my back. It's <laughs> no, nothing like that. They're fun, funny Aww. stories. He's you know? fine. Everything's no, everything's yeah, no, fine. I'm fine. Everything's, <laughs> everything's fine. But that was the fear. Right. You know, so, um, all right. So do you want to go first or do you want, what do you, who do you want to go first? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Number five. <laughs> I'm already laughing. <laughs> no, he's, Oh, hold on, hold on. I haven't done any of this this episode. Hold on. Do it, baby. All right. Do it, baby. Um. Okay, so number five for me yeah. is when my little sister, Heather, tried shaving her legs for the first time. Oh, God. That 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 in itself, that's just, I don't even want to think about that. So uh, she was very young. I would say eight or nine. Months old. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> So at the time, obviously, all still living at home, and uh, at the time also, my mother had a bird, and the bird could fly. <laughs> the bird wasn't clipped or anything. It was a little um, parakeet of some sort, um, and it didn't talk, but it sang, and it squawked a lot, and um, she rescued it. She found it or something, and she kept it instead of taking it to, like, wildlife, but it was obviously, like, someone's pet. She liberated it from yeah. the pet store. Right. <laughs> See? Super sorry about that. Um, so, and it only liked her. Like, it hated everybody but her. And, uh, like it would, um, sometimes it would like sit on my shoulder, but it would just try to chew my earrings and stuff. And then it would eventually bite me. And I would be like, ah, oh, go away. Stop, stop biting me. But, uh, so I was home with, uh, my little sister, Heather and Michael, who's my younger brother. And it was just three of us and the bird. And Heather's old enough at this point, eight or nine. She's old enough to take a shower by herself, obviously. And so she's in the bathroom taking a shower. And then all of a sudden I hear screaming. And, uh, and I'm like, what the hell? You know, so I uh, run to the bathroom and, you know, there's no privacy in a family. So I just flip open the door and she is standing there and she is screaming and she is crying. And I can see that she has a razor in her hand and there's blood dripping down her leg. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. And she's like, ah, ah, like looking at me like, oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, 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 wait, okay, just, just calm down, just calm down, hold on, hold on. And then all of a sudden, Michael comes from out of nowhere. I don't know what he was doing or playing with, but uh, you know, I mean, well, <laughs> make it sound like because he he was busy doing something. Well, else. he was probably in his room playing, you know, right. like. Uh, and I think at the time, I don't know, I was probably like 15 or 16 or something. And so I was home, you know, with the younger kids, mm-hmm. and uh, so I start running around and. 
and, uh, you know, like when there's like a little bit of a crisis, you start running around going, okay, okay, I'm going to, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, focus. Did focus. you know at that point it was her legs? Yeah, I could oh, see her okay, legs. Okay. I could see them. Because I went in there, she was like standing you know, in the shower. And right. I was like, what? And she's crying. I'm like, okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. And so I grab uh, a towel and um, and I take the razor from her and I grab a towel and I put the towel on her legs and um, and I t- tell her to hold it and, and try to get her to calm down. And then Michael comes in and Michael is just like, what's happening? What's happening? He sees the blood and he starts getting really upset and like following me. And we're like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Like, and he starts getting, and I don't remember if he was crying, but he was yelling also. And like, and then the bird flies oh, up. Jesus. So, so now the bird is flying around the house, squawking and attacking me because he thinks that like something's bad's happening. And he's like, like, try, and I think that he actually might be trying to land on me, but I'm in crisis mode. So I'm right. like, oh my God, oh my God. And I run in the kitchen and Michael's following me and like yelling and crying and Heather's still in the bathroom crying and the bird's squawking, flying around <laughs> and I pick up like the cordless phone and I'm calling my mom who's at work and I'm running around and I go back to the, <laughs> I run back to the bathroom like, okay, I'm calling mom. Just calm down. Just calm down. You're fine. You're fine. Like, and I can tell she doesn't need stitches, but she's freaking the hell out. Right. Like she, right. she needs mom, you know, right. like mom needs to come home. And, um. And so, and like, I'm checking. I'm like, you're okay. Just relax. And I'm like, Mom. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, Michael, calm down. Michael, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, like, swatting the bird away. So, anyway, everybody calms down. My mom's like, what's happening? I'm like, she cut herself. She tried to shave. My mom's like, what? Like, well, how bad is it? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, well, go check. I'm like, right. Okay, right. And I, like, put the phone down. I, like, run in there. I'm like, okay, well, let me see it. Anyway. Things go on, everybody calms down, but for a full five minutes or so, I'm running around the house, yelling at everybody. Michael's following me around the house, yelling and crying. Heather's in the bathroom yelling and crying. The bird is <laughs> yelling, <laughs> and crying. And yelling and crying. <laughs> and I'm like trying to call mom and I'm like, ah! Oh, that's so funny. It was this horrifying moment at home alone with the kids. So did she just try to shave her legs? She just saw, knew that other people were shaving yeah. their legs, so she just thought... Yeah. Yeah. Wanted to be a big girl and shave her legs. And then, you know, like me and my older sister, she was 18. I was about 15 or 16, you know, so right. like we would start shaving her legs. And so the razor was in there and she thought that would be the day that she would try to shave her legs was, as like a big girl. That, that was, was a big the girl day. day. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Didn't go well. That's funny. That's good. Like and and it wasn't that bad, she but she had cut herself several times. With, right. But it wasn't obviously that yeah, bad. Yeah, in the it shower, was, yeah, right. it looks like a lot of blood. And, and it hurt and sure. it stings with the water and she freaked out because there was blood. and Yeah, yeah no. You know. um, yeah, running and yelling. <laughs> yeah. My number five is one time when I scared my mom. Mm. I was, I think, I'm pretty sure I was under a year old. Um, my mom had seen The Exorcist that night. Oh, and I somehow, from what I remember the story, I somehow, we all went to bed. Well, she put me to bed. She went to bed. And then in the middle of the night, she heard a large boom come from the room I was in. And I, I think I was still in a crib at that that point. Um, and she went, she, of course, she's freaked out because she saw this movie. She goes into the room to find me, and I'm not in the crib. <laughs> so she's freaking out. Anyway, what happened was that I... So I guess I wanted to get up, so I fell out of the crib and then rolled under the crib. So you she launched went, yourself yeah. out. <laughs> so she couldn't find me. Everything was fine, but she says she was so scared. And then after seeing that movie, that she thought, you know, demon baby. Yeah, something. But I just I love that to hear her tell the story. She still gets horrified about it. Right. And so that's my number five: scaring the crap out of my mom under a year old. <laughs> Exorcism baby. That's me. Demon baby. Yeah. What's oh. your uh, number four? Um, it's like, it's something uh, that happened at work and uh, involves our good friend, Corey. Mm-hmm. So the first time, uh, well, let me backtrack. So I work at this place and I go in the morning and I'm really only like the first one there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times I'm the only one there at that time in the morning. And I work, my workshop is in the basement. And a lot of times the lights are off. They have like one or two emergency lights on just so it's, you know. Uh-huh. Keep talking. I'm, you can I'm see. Lit, yeah. I can hear. Go ahead. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, I'm walking around. I turn on some lights. And I thought, I think I hear something in the other side of the basement. And the only other thing in the basement besides our shop is the Foley stage. Uh-huh. And normally no one's in there that early, you know. Right. And so I think I hear something. So I go down to that side of the building. And it's totally pitch dark. And 
once again, the light switch is nowhere near my end of the hallway. So I have to walk down the long, dark hallway. And uh, so I'm going down the long, dark hallway at work. And all of a sudden, um, there's a guy there. And uh, (laughs) and I say, hey. And then... (laughs) He turns around and goes, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare anything? He goes, oh, no, it's good. I'm good. He's just totally trying to like play it cool. Like, no, it's good. <clears throat> and that was Corey. How's it going? And it was Corey. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and it's the first time we met. That's hilarious. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm Annalise. I work down here. You are. He's like, oh, um, yeah, no, I'm Corey. I uh, work here on the following stage. I'm like, oh, you do? I don't remember seeing you. He's like, oh, no, I've been here for a couple months. I'm like, oh, that's so weird. Well, anyway, how's it going? That's He's hilarious. Like, yeah, good. Good. <laughs> so, all right. Cool. All uh, right. Cool. All right. And I'm like, I'm just going to turn on the lights. And he's like, yeah, yeah, turn on the lights. <laughs> <laughs> so I turn on the lights. Like, and so there's like this like awkward pause where he's just looking at me like trying to be cool about like, yeah, right, right cool, that, okay. And I'm like, funny. all right, so, all right, sorry again. <laughs> and he's like, no, yeah, no, it's fine. And I'm like, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> and now, of course, now we're all really good friends. But right. that was my first time meeting Corey as I scared the shit out of him. That's great. <laughs> That's funny. My number, my number four. I I don't know if I told this story on the podcast or not. I know I have one that I did, but I'm it's still one of my top five. So, my number four is I was a very young child, and I have obviously this fear of fish that I'm getting better at. But I was in Hawaii, and um, I was given like a snorkel mask, and I was kind of out just beyond, you know, just in the on the beach, in the beach, in the water, in the ocean, on the beach. <laughs> okay. But not far out, like just far enough to where you can kind of swim and bob and, you know. So, and with all my fear, you know, people were telling me like, okay, so if you do come across something in the ocean, a shark or something like that, don't freak out and panic. Just slowly swim away and go back to shore. Because if you make a lot of movements, they're going to thank your food. So I'm like, all right. So I'm out. Don't run from the predator. Right. So I'm out. (laughs) And I am looking at, you know, in the water with my mask. And I'm having more fun just looking at the sand, you know, I'm not looking for fish, obviously, but then I see in my periphery fish (laughs) and this fish must have been 240 feet long easily. No, no. maybe 300. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. (laughs) No. And it looked, it was like a foot. It looked at me (laughs) and it, it made like this mouth gesture, like breathing. No, like I'm going to eat you. Oh, okay. And I could see its teeth. And I was, and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, okay, I'm about eight feet from shore. So all I have to do, like everyone says, now my, I'm, I think I was like 11, 12. I'm this like, 300 foot animal was three feet from No, it wasn't an animal, it was fish. From eight feet from shore? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it could Just have been bigger. I, I don't want to, I don't want to exaggerate of the size of the <clears> fish. I want to keep this legit. So I'm like, <laughs> okay. Um, just slowly turn away from this fish and swim. Fortunately, I had fins on and just swim the 140 feet back to shore. Eight, I'm sorry, eight feet back to shore. <laughs> Calmly. So I'm, I'm staring down this fish, this predator, as you say. <laughs> and I, I did, okay. Yeah. And I, I turn and I freak the hell out i start yelling and crying and paddling super hard and kicking so so hard that i'm actually not going anywhere because i'm not actually in a direction i'm still you know up and down facing so it looks like you're drowning pretty much (laughs) i finally make it onto the shore i run up on shore all not all these people like four adults come over to me they're like oh my god are you okay are you okay and i'm like oh i saw something in the water and i got scared and you know blah 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 this fish although i'm I'm not sounding like i'm more sounding like (laughs) But what I meant to say was there's this giant fish out there that's going to eat everybody on the shore. We have to warn everybody. (laughs) Run for your lives. Needless to say, I was later told by someone who else was in the water that, A, the snorkel mask that I had on had a magnified glass to it and that the fish I actually saw was like uh, about eight inches. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and was just hanging out and and just swimming. Eight inches or three hundred feet. It was. I'm not. I'm thinking they saw a different fish. Hmm. But yeah, it was. That was. I was. I was so That's why scared. You're scared. Of fish no, I was. In the water. I was. You were scared before I was that or scared. after? Yeah, no, I was already scared before that. But I was. I was so petrified. 
I mean, I just remember that, you know, when you get so scared and you just feel right. you don't, you can't comprehend. Right. So that's my number four story. <laughs> and, and it's interesting because every now and then I get interviewed for like Discovery or Wildlife or National Geographic on how I survived this horrific incident with this large predator. And it, you know, um, I try not to let it go to my head because right. not a lot of people have been through it. I've been through mm-hmm, and survived. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I just, I roll with it. I right. roll with it. Yeah. You're getting, and you're getting better. It really helps the, yeah. the therapy. Yeah. And the, yeah. Yeah. I don't use a uh, magnified snorkel mask anymore. Just did that. So. <laughs> All right. So what's your, what's your number tray? Um, I actually, yeah, I think I actually meant the number five that I just did as my number three. I actually accidentally swapped my number three and five. But anyway, so here's my number three. Whoa. Which was supposed to be number five. Now there's a math problem. I know, right? There's a whole a, equation. B, C, D. Um, that's, so, that's the alphabet. Part, yeah. But okay. <laughs> I know. It's just good. Um, so my number three also involves my little sister, Heather. All right. And she doesn't do this anymore, as far as I know. But when she was a little kid, you know, like one years old, two years old, three years old, um, she would sleepwalk. And to the point that we would get up and we wouldn't know where she was. Mm-hmm. And so I would uh, get up often to check on her just because now that I know that she does this, now it's in my brain and it's hard for me to be relaxed and sleep because she's wandering around. And um, she never actually made it outside because uh, luckily she couldn't quite unlock the door in Mm -hmm. her sleepwalking. Uh, But there was one time that we could not find her. And so everybody had to get up and everybody had to look for her. Everybody had to. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I mean, it's like here. it was like the all call. Like, right. okay, like usually just one person would get up and look for her and find her, and she'd be on the couch or right. for some laying on the floor in the living room, shaving her legs. Shaving. Yeah. We don't know. Sh- no. But uh, <laughs> chasing so a bird around. The we house. had to uh, all like find her, and um, the garage at this point in this house, the haunted house, I might add, um, was made into a room. Was not just a garage, but there's the laundry area was still in there. And so we looked, and it's a tiny house, you know, so we all looked around, we couldn't find her, and we're starting to f- completely freak out, and everybody's like, okay, so everybody put on shoes, we're going to have to go outside. Even though the door's locked, she must have gotten outside, because she's not in the house. And so we decided to do another look through the house, and then my mom finds her, finally, in the, and of course I say finally, it probably took like 10 minutes, but it seemed, right. you know, it's in the middle of the night, and sure. everyone's freaked out, and so it seemed like it took, you know, three hours, right. it probably only took 10 minutes. Found her... Laying in the um, folded clean clothes in the laundry area. But we didn't see her the first time. Like, we just walked past her nice. the first time. But she was curled up, like, in a little ball, like, sleeping on the clean, smelling towels. But but she was so, like, snuggled in there, we didn't catch her the first time. But So just weird stuff like that. But, I mean, like, you know, you get up in the middle of the night, you're like, oh, shit, where, <laughs> is, where is she? You know, like, come on. And then, of course, That's good. everyone, no one really says it, but everyone is looking at the front door like, She's outside. We're going to have to go outside. It's like 2 a.m., <laughs> you know? But anyway, so she, I don't think she does it anymore, but she used to walk and talk in her sleep. That's funny. So. Not not to get too sidetracked, but I think I told you this story, but that reminds me when I first got Vladimir, my kitten from years, mm-hmm. he's been gone for a long time, years and years ago. Um, I lived in this little studio apartment. It was just me and Vladimir. And so he was this little kitten and um, litter box training him and doing all the stuff you do with kitten. Did my laundry, dried it. I had it on my bed, and it was all warm. And I guess the the little kitten sensed it, so he climbed up the bed sheet onto the warm laundry and was laying on it. And I'm like, oh, and I'm like, that's a really weird position that he. It just didn't right. look like he was like. And so I I went over there and grabbed him. Realized what he was doing was he was just on his belly with his paws laid out and just peeing all over my that freshly must have felt washed, so good, like, oh, uh, my freshly that's washed bad. clothes. And I was like, what? <laughs> so remind, he's a tiny little kitten. Right. And I was so mad. So I picked him up by the scruff of the neck. I wasn't hurting, but, you know, right, I picked right. him up and I'm like, no. And I put him in the litter box and I'm like, no, this is where you, like, he understands, you right. know, this is where you pee. I'm like, oh, I took all the laundry, went and washed it again. I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. And about three hours later, I'm like, oh, great. Where's the kitten? I can't, I haven't seen the kitten. And I go and the poor little kitten was still in the litter box. I freaked him out so much. He Aww. never left the litter box. I felt That's so terrible. bad. I'm like, oh, come on, buddy. Come on out here. Sorry. I know. I felt terrible. So 
You should That's have done that with your sister. Right, should have. Uh, most cats uh, don't adhere that well to punishment, so. Well, I didn't. I, I just, I yeah, yelled. Did, I didn't right. do, I didn't just hit him or anything. Him, I, just, right. I think I just freaked him out. Yeah. I think that and the fact that I probably interrupted his very fun peeing. Right, because he he's like, like this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, that feels really warm. That feels good. I'm just going to yeah. pee right here. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> and it was the whites, too. And I'm like, oh, God, this is disgusting. That's another so. pee story. <laughs> Not your pee, <laughs> <True>. but. <laughs> um, That's yeah. You're huh. number three. Yeah, my number three was the was the Pedro Beauty Store reflective surface story, which I told before. But I'll just a couple t- weeks ago, right? Yeah, two or three weeks ago. Right? I'll just t- real quickly. I was um, I was going to the beauty supply store to buy some stuff, and the outside of this building is all glass, and it's mirrored glass, or it's got some sort of coating on it, so it is mirrored because the sun, you know, whatever. And so I was backing up, and I and when I looked forward, I saw the reflection of my car, which was very close to me because I was close to the building, but thought it was another car coming at me. <laughs> and I just freaked out. I didn't, I didn't stay you calm. On the brakes. Yeah. I slammed <laughs> on the brakes. I yelled, I let go of the steering wheel. I was like, ah! cause I thought I was going to get absolutely <laughs> smashed. Yeah. yeah. Frappéed by this. Do you other... let go of the steering wheel? Cause that's what NASCAR teaches you to do. No, I let go. Cause I was screaming and put my hands up in the air. Like I was, I was oh. like, no, I surrender. I surrender. So that was my number oh. three. It scared the bejesus out of me. It was one of those, like, I pulled, you know, when I left, I'm like, okay, I got to stop here. And like, my adrenaline was pumping. Yeah, it was all shaky. I'm like, ah, oh, Scared man. yourself? Yeah. I was talking to my mom and um, t- telling her lately, because I had that scare with the the letter. I didn't know, you know, right. that letter I got in the mail. And so I was telling my mom, like, I realize as I get older, I just want life to be nice and simple. I don't want anything crazy to happen. I'm like, you want to cut me off on the road? That's fine. You want to jump in? Right. Like, I, whatever. I don't care anymore. So I just Everybody really, just chill the fuck out. Yeah. No, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so that was my number three. Funny. Um, so my, my number two involves siblings and the same house. A lot oh of my God. stuff happens in the house. <laughs> Apparently your siblings scare the bejesus out of you. Um, so <clears throat> in this house, there's a one long hallway and all the rooms go off the lo- one long hallway, like most little suburban um, California houses do. Um, and for some reason, the bathroom was like in the middle. Mm-hmm. And so was the light switch. So the light switch is right next to the bathroom. And so um, the light switch for the bathroom, light switch for the house, No, the light switch for the hallway. Oh, oh OK. I'm like sorry. instead of I'm having, sorry. you know, like even though like it's a long enough hallway that realistically like our hallway is kind of. Yeah. There's light switches at either end. Right. So in this house, there was only one light switch and it was in the middle. So you had to walk down the long, dark it's how hallway. how my parents' hallway is. Yeah. Too. And yeah. I was, yeah. I'm like, um, I don't, I I don't really it. as like a little kid, I don't want to walk down the long right. hallway in the dark to right. get to light switch, like hug the wall and like, uh, were you one of those switch? kids that if you were home, well, you had siblings maybe, but you had every light in the house on. Always. I was like, because I was, well, I was scared because the house was on it. So I had yeah. every light, everything I could possibly have on. I would go to bed and leave the TV on in the living room. Like, and they're like, what do you do? And I'm like. Yeah, that needed to happen. Right. You can yell at me or get mad. That's fine. Right, That's right, It's going right. to happen again next week. Right. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I got up in the middle of the night, had to go to the bathroom, and of course, long, dark hallway, and I'm like, God, why? Because I'd always leave light on, and someone would always turn it off. Right. And, and so um, so hugging the wall. To this day, you still need a light on. Yes. We have a light on, yes. and that's actually long. part of the the blog story. Oh, that okay. We're gonna, but um, all right. But we I'm, can talk about it. No, no, no. No, go ahead. I'm. Uh, I digress. What? Oh, what? what? Yeah, so I'm still scared of the dark. I still what? need the lights on. But um, so walking down, hugging the wall, you know, praying to get to the, <laughs> the light switch. And so um, I'm standing in front of the bathroom and I'm about to turn on the light switch. And then all of a sudden, someone in the bathroom steps out. Oh, yeah. And I literally went, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I flipped the light on and it's my older sister, Christina, who was in the bathroom using the bathroom and she was just trying to be like really quick and didn't right. like, she didn't even shut the door. She right. just like was going pee. Gotta and, go pee. Yeah. And so, middle of the night. And then she, but she heard me coming. Oh, so she started to come out and like, was like, oh, like she was going to, it's like, hell, I'm using the bathroom, but that's not at all what happened. Right. I was standing there. She stood up. And so there's this like dark figure just out of nowhere. Right. So I scream my bejesus head off. And now my mom comes out. And she's like, what the hell? And we're like, all, oh, 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 God. And I'm like, and then she looks at my sister. She's like, turn on the light. God. <laughs> you know, like, you know, really? That's funny. But yeah, scared the crap no, out of me. I, Yeah. My, my <laughs> number two is similar to that. So um, when, when I was growing up, we lived in this house out in West Marin. And the front door was one of those where half of it is a regular door. And then the other half is, or 
like a big pane of glass, mm-hmm. uh, the, the top upper half, half yeah. obviously, and it had like the little cross lattice where you know it was like right. a little yeah, country exactly. looking yeah, door, the little cottage style door. Yeah. yeah, and so I I want to say it was around Halloween. However, I just might be making that up to add to the right. you know whatever <laughs> in your mind it was a Halloween, <laughs> right? But it was later in the afternoon. I was you know out playing with my friends and I was coming home, and so it was starting to get dark because I had to be home by the time it was dark, and um, I was going. So I walk up to the door and you can see inside our, the whole front of the house used to be glass. So you could see easily, you know, when you walk up, cause we didn't have blinds, we were out in the country. So it was like, you'd see that there was no one in the living room. You walk in and you look through the doorway and there's nobody, you know, you can see like, Oh, nobody's there. Okay. So I'm going to get open up the, the door. So I put the key in. Well, what I didn't know while I was walking up, my dad, who is just super concerned about, cold air coming into a warm house so he puts like towels underneath the, or by the front door to stop the mm-hmm. air from coming underneath right. and he yeah was, to this day he does he that. still does yeah so he was knelt knelt he was kneeling down putting this towel in so and i couldn't see him when i walked up to right, the door, the door. Yeah. so as soon as i put the key in the door he popped up so all i saw immediately was his head right on the other side and it freaking i dropped the key i jumped back into the ivy i was yelling <laughs> i was so scared that i just started crying <laughs> I did because I, I had no freaking clue. Right. And he opens up the door and he's like, Oh my, you know, thinking right. something happened to me. Right. He's like, Are you okay? You know, what's, what's wrong? And I'm, you know, my mom runs out and she's like, well, What happened? Are you, you know, I'm like, No, I'm fine. I got scared because dad he scared was scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Right? Oh, but I just all, the, you know, because he had that look of concern like, What's that sound at the door? Right. And so here's this giant man's head. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Funny. So that was my number two. So what's your number one? Um, uh, cats and Christmas, and this goes under my uh, something that you've learned, but uh, <clears throat> glass ornaments and animals don't mix, Mm-mm. so you can do earthquakes, and animals. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true, it's very similar. Um, so one year I was living in Portland and it was Christmas time and decided to come back to California for Christmas, and um, uh, wasn't gonna be gone that long, just like a two day trip, so didn't have a babysitter for the cats, just literally like leave on a Friday, come back on a Sunday night. And uh, left the Christmas tree up. And the, we had uh, two cats at the time. Um, two or three cats. 17. Yeah. I don't know. It was either two or three. Anyway. Still there was a lot Roy. of puss in the house. Woo! <clears throat> still had Roy. I almost who, made Roy, it. Roy, so we have the whole now. show. Yeah. Not, nope. Nope. <laughs> Didn't make it. Um, so we, and they were the pretty much leaving the no? <laughs> tree alone. <laughs> yeah. Leave the tree. <laughs> and so we thought, you know, that's cool. They'll be fine. You know. So get home on that Sunday night or whatever and uh, open the door to the house. Happy to be home. Long trip. Always is. Um, so walk in and there's broken ornaments everywhere and bloody paw prints oh. everywhere, like all over. And uh, and actually one little spot of actual like blood and just bloody paw prints like just all over the floor everywhere. And at that point, you just like, you know, like you drop the keys and you drop your bag and you're like, oh. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I was like, kitties, kitties. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. And trying to step around the glass and right. whatever and freaking out. And the cats don't come out. Right. And I had to like go and find them. I, I don't know if they actually know that they're in trouble at that point. Cause they're like crunchy bloody paw prints there. But then finally they kind of come out of like their little hiding places and, uh, immediately have to grab them, like flip them over. I'm checking paws and stuff. And, um, like one of them had a little cut on their paw, but mm-hmm. I can't even see any cuts on the other one. And so I don't know how in the hell they produced that much blood. And then obviously just kept walking in it and walking around. Right. And, um, there was a bloody paw print on the dining room table. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, God. But yeah, just freaked out. Just sure. walked in, bloody paw prints and broken things. And you're like, at first, you know, my first thought was the house was robbed. But, oh, right. But um, sure. in that front part of the house, it's a really long... It was robbed by people who like to break ornaments. I don't know. But, but you know, when your house is a mess, like, there's just right. all these things that go through your brain. <laughs> no. But, like... <laughs> 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 you know. So, anyway. So, just bloody paw prints. And um, I just was, like... I just envisioned the worst. Like, right. they it really hurt themselves. And one of them's dead. And I can't find them. And they're not coming out. And house has been burglarized. And, like, who knows? Right. But, but obviously, within about 10 minutes, everything was calm. And I was sweeping up glass ornaments but, right but i totally freaked out when i opened the door i bet yeah, yeah. 
my number one, and I've, I believe I've told this on the podcast too, but it is my number one, was uh, Seven running into the glass door and I thought oh, I killed him. I don't think you've told that one on the podcast. No, I almost thought I told it last week when we were talking mm. to Grant, but maybe not. No. But I'll, I'll tell it really quick. So Seven was a, a puppy and um, he was just getting used to the place where we were living and we were, I was trying to teach him, you know, out where outside to go to the bathroom was. So we were playing outside and getting him tired enough and then he'd pee and I'd be like, good dog, you know, I'm back inside. And we were running around, um, actually running back and forth inside and outside around the backyard. And uh, Dobermans have a lot of puppy energy. So I was trying to get rid of that also. So one time, I guess, just out of habit, I ran outside and I shut the sliding glass door behind me. And so Seven and I are outside running around. We're in the ground, woo hoo hoo And I'm chasing him and he's chasing me. And then he decides he's going to run back inside, which was part of the game. Right. And he freaking full sprints right into the glass, close glass door. I mean, it made, so, I, at first I thought the glass door broke. And I'm like, oh my God, he hits the door and knocks himself out. Just falls right over on the oh, ground. And he's, he's done. out, done. And I'm like, terrifying. I just killed my dog. I just killed this dog. Right. And take, and take the dog to the vet and go, no, I didn't hit him with anything. He ran into the door. And so I was, <laughs> That's I was a, like maybe, abusive. Yeah, I was, thing maybe, to say. <laughs> I, I was maybe 15 feet away from him. And I, so I get up to the door, he's still on the ground and I'm freaked again, freaked out. My adrenaline is pumping and I'm like, like, I got to, I think he's dead, but I'm thinking I should check for a pulse or breathing or something. And I'm, and in my head, I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I, do I take him to the vet? Is the, you know, what right. do I do? So I get down and I put my hand on his, uh, the side of his chest, the side uh -huh. of, cause he's lying on his side, side of his body. And as soon as I touch him, he starts to shake his head and kind of jumps up, but he's totally wobbly. He's walking right. sideways. He probably had a concussion. Or yeah. And yeah. I'm like, oh my God, thank God he's alive. So I open the door and we go inside and I put him on the bed and, you know, I'm like, okay, stay here. And he didn't really move for a while, but right. I was, that was the scare, most scared because I thought one, that's terrible. But two, I just killed this poor dog <laughs> yeah. by playing. Yeah. 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 He's, he's had a few, he's, he's run into the wall so hard before that he's dented the wall and taken the fur off above his eye. Eesh. Yeah. I'm like, what are you running into walls for? There's some damage. Yeah. So that was the, that was the freakiest thing. That was my number one scariest. Oh my God. Dead Doberman. <laughs> Fortunately, didn't happen. But Fortunately, apparently, okay. apparently me and Seven have a thing with concussion. So Yeah, you too. No. Like seven? You had seven yeah, concussions? Right. No. Me? No, yeah, I, yeah. I think six, five or six. Uh, I can't remember too many. I like how I say seven, like, no, that's, no, <laughs> no, but five or six. Yeah. <laughs> Totally not seven. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So there we are. Oh, my gosh. What time are we at? We are, are ready we to go. All I right. think we're, I we're over an hour. of thank yous today. Yeah, me too. I, I wanted to say quick before you, because I for, I keep forgetting this, so I, I want to jump out there real quick because I don't have it written down. It just popped in my head. I wanted to also thank everybody who's not only takes the time to listen to the podcast because we think that's freaking awesome, yeah. but a lot of people actually taking the time to rate and review our show on iTunes and Stitcher and Spreaker and all the other places you can find it. And we we don't really ask because I always think like it's so cool the people just even bother listening to the podcast. So, so thank you for yeah, taking the time the to fact do that. that yeah. Those of you, thank you everyone who listens, but those of you who have taken the time to, to rate and review, that's really awesome. And we really appreciate it. And by no means is it necessary or do we expect it, but that's so awesome. If you have the time and you want to great, if not, just thank you so much for listening. So I wanted to get that out there before, cause I always freaking forget. So <laughs> there you go. So you uh, you want to do your thank yous before I, I do um, the list? Right. Uh, again, with the thank you to Grant, of course, for last week, and Ryan from Green Up and Tom Jackson Jr. Tom Jackson <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Too funny. Um, I also want to thank the guys from uh, Salty Language for being in generally awesome and um, Tony for our favorite five from last week. And I want to thank Brian for um, the really cool uh, – logo idea from last week oh yeah podcast That's we'll really talk cool. about we that should... we should write that down we'll talk about it next next week okay i'll write it down all right um and then also i want to thank the guys from exology exology the... <laughs> they're always uh mentioning us and uh i love that and also uh mad mock who uh we learned about from listening to exology um gave us a really awesome shout out on um his podcast um Deepak nation so you guys should check that out um, and, um, I keep forgetting, but Brandon from Arkham Social Hour oh, from yeah. Musings of the Geek Network, yeah. um, he's always 
like they do like a, so what's your favorite podcast? And he always says Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. And yeah. I haven't thanked him in a while. And so I just want to know that we do listen and I and I hear that and yeah. I want to make sure I thank he's, you. He's been extremely supportive and, yeah. and actually really cool. I really yeah, like he's, him he's on, a, the, a, he's on a really the funny podcast. Guy. Yeah. He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to thank um, Chris with a K from Gravy Age and also Chris with a C from Gravy Age. And uh, Chris with a K will get that box out. Yeah, it's ready to go. In fact, right. I'll send you a picture of the box I, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that Chris is so interactive with us. That's awesome. I love of the interaction between all he's the... all about interaction that's euphemism just for you Chris. that's not a You're euphemism welcome. no it's a truth that's a tr- okay <laughs> 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 sorry <laughs> and then of course um jason and all the guys from seven days of geek um all those guys are so yeah. supportive and talk about us and i love it yeah jason uh has been extremely supportive of uh of our podcast and and of me too i mean one thing i always forget to mention on our podcast I do another podcast. Okay. I have that on here, Gotham okay. Nights, with yeah. uh, Jason and Ryan. Right, and and Sam uh, from the Geek and Family podcast. I don't want to say is not on it anymore. Right. However, he's super busy and kind of on a hiatus of right. it. But I'll, he'll always be part of it to me, whether he's actually able to make it or not. So, right. For sure. um, yeah, I, I always forget to say I feel I and I feel bad. I have it on my notes to mention Gotham and uh, Jay and Ryan and Sam. So. Yeah. So Gotham Knights podcast, it's a podcast, it's a fan cast for the show Gotham where we just, yep. we watch the show and then we talk about it. And, um, and you've had we just Nickel try to on give, as a guest and Roy on as a guest. Which yeah. Is awesome. So. Yeah. Nickel from Graphic Novice and Roy from Moving the Needle. And we'll have other guests. Um, but it's a very much an honest take of what we think about the show. Yeah. So. I like it. And it's fun. We you know, it. we get to hang out. And it's fun for me because I get to actually podcast with Jay and Ryan, which is yeah, which is a lot of fun as I choke on myself Very over cool. here. And then and I hit the mic. Oh, my God. I'm oh falling gosh, apart. Okay. Everybody calm Jesus. down. Just a couple more thank yous and we're going to clock out. We're going to get... Yeah. And, of course, thank you to Heno, as awesome as always, is our intro song. Fuck and that Heno guy, man. And does a... Wow. <laughs> You're getting a call later. Um, and his uh, new awesome podcast with Angela, ask, Angela's awesome podcast. I just said ass. ass. <laughs> <There's> some... <laughs> it's Angela's ass podcast. No, I'm sure it's Angela asses. has an awesome ass. Um, they can talk about that in the next podcast. That's awesome. But, and then, of course, a huge thank you to Pod, uh, Pod, Digest. Pod People. <laughs> podcast Digest. And, of course, uh, Dana from How's This Movie. And also the Lo-Fi Show who always mentions us. And Yeah. I, I wish we could run down all I of the podcasts, and I, I feel bad when we mention some and don't mention. I know other. I'm always forgetting. You know, but the support that other podcasts yeah. have given us right. has been huge and very, very. Yeah, and Airspeaker and Inconclusive are still using our promos. That's really oh, awesome. which reminds me, we have to record a new one for Airspeaker. They want okay. us. They want to be able to use it in different spots. So okay. we'll probably do that today. Uh, and be, and I'm sorry. Go sorry, ahead. I was going to say I'm sorry if I'm um, missing all my thank yous. I will catch up. Yeah. So. Thank you very much for checking us out. Please go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. It links to everything. Um, we have uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Uh, it's all under DAPF pod. So you can check us out, follow us, click us. Please email us if you have anything to say. Call us 774 327 3713. We're part of. Many great networks who have been extremely supportive, and we appreciate that. We're part of the Musings of a Geek Network, and you can check them out at musingsofageek.com. Part of the uh, pod, I always, I can't say their name, Pod <laughs> Gods Network, and that's podgodsnetwork.com. Tangent Bound Network, I sometimes I feel like I forget to mention Tangent Bound. And, and that's Mark because and in everybody. our notes, they were always combined somehow with Yeah, I don't know one. what I did, anyway. but I... But uh, extremely supportive of not only our podcast, but a whole bunch of podcasts. That you want a podcast, go to tangentboundnetwork.com and uh, you hook you up. Yeah. yeah. Um, couchpotatonation.com, uh, great podcast. All these, all these networks um, have great podcasts and are greatly supportive of podcasts. So if you have a podcast and want to be part of a network, check these out. If you just want to find some really cool networks, Check them out. And, of course, all to the uh, internet radio stations that we're part of. SparkRadio.us. We're there Mondays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and uh, Fridays at 7.30. RadioFubar.com. You can catch us Tuesday mornings, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. All the times are Pacific Standard Time. I actually got my notes right, so I can actually say that now. Uh, Geek New Life, notes. Yeah, GeekLifeRadio.com on Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m. And the RadioResistance.Webnode.com Wednesdays after 8 p.m. Oh, no, that one's on Eastern Standard Time. So that's five. I, my notes, I screwed them up again. 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And um, like I said, just thank you to all the other uh, podcasts that help us out. And 
to the people who listen, our little show here is is growing and having a lot of fun. We're getting some great feedback, and we really appreciate it. We're having a great time doing it. And send us your address if you want our quote-unquote <laughs> Christmas card. Christmas koozie card. <laughs> Christmas koozie. We're going to warm up your koozie. That uh, almost came out terribly wrong. I, I, I stopped. <laughs> I, I stopped myself. My eyebrow went up. I'm like, oh. Oh, too far. Right. Too oh, far. I, uh, Twitter. I am at Angels Freak Seven. We no longer have the DAPF podcast account on Twitter just because it was pretty much a duplicate of mine. So I felt bad sending twice to the people because right. people were following both, both yeah. either Which me is awesome, or you. But yeah, you're getting but double tweets. I just basically. felt bad yeah. tweeting. Every, I mean, I think I tweet enough. So, right. and you are Wire Tech Girl at Wire Tech Girl on the Twitters. On the Twitters. But uh, yeah, I'll joke aside. Hendo, thank you so much if you're still listening at this point. Uh, <laughs> Gotta stay for the thank you. You rock. <laughs> Is that it? You have That's anything it. else? That's it. Peace out, home biscuit. Wow. <laughs> you gonna say bye bye? Yeah. Bye. Zero, are you gonna say bye? Zero. No. No. All right, bye. Okay. You are now leading the world of Musings of a Geek Podcast Network. Stay geeky, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>